So in this video, we're going to uh, go over the definition for the parallel axis theorem in order to calculate the moment of inertia. So the parallel axis theorem may be used to determine the moment of inertia about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the polar moment of inertia about for any coordinate system. So in this figure we have on the top left, um, we have an area uh, that we'll define as area A. All right, and then for area A, we have the centroid of that area is located at uh, the origin of the x prime, y prime coordinate system, um, and uh, we, um, the we have defined a differential element within our area as dA, and we ha say that dA is equal to or is at a location of x prime. Um, and y prime uh, here, all right? So, so for, so we can relate this uh, local coordinate system, which is relative to the centroid of our area, to a global coordinate system, which we'll define with our origin O, um, and that would be um, for the x, y global coordinate system. And we can relate this, um, the origin C to our XY global coordinate system using two lengths. Um, so the length from the X axis to the origin um, will be D of Y. And then the, the, the distance from the Y axis to the uh, Y prime axis will be D of X. Okay. So using these definitions, what we can do is we can take our equation for I of X that we had on the last page. And we said that on the last page, I of X was equal to the, the area integral of dA. All right. And then on the last page, we just had Y squared. All right. So in this case, our Y squared is really equal to our, our Y term is it really equal to d of y plus y prime? All right, so if we square that, what we end up getting is we end up getting the integral of a d of y squared dA plus the integral of uh, to uh, dy y prime dA plus the integral of two uh, of sorry y prime squared right. so if we look at these uh, uh, integrals um, one thing we'll notice off the bat is this term here, um, since d of y is a constant, but y prime um, for the centroid, there's an equal amount of area um, below, above and below our centroid. So y prime dA, if we integrate across the whole area, the positive area and the negative area would cancel each other out. So we could simplify this and say this is equal to zero. Um, and what that leaves us with is we get i of x is equal to d of y squared dy squared times uh, uh, dA. All right, dy is a constant, so we can bring it out. So the integral of dA would just get simplified down to uh, a, so we end up just getting dy squared a, and then this the far integral on the right hand side, this is our, our definition of um, the moment of inertia for the x-axis. So this is just the same thing as i of x with respect to the x prime axis. All right. So what we end up getting is for i of x about our global axis, we can say is equal to the the distance uh, to, from the x-axis to the x-prime axis 
squared times the area plus the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis ix prime. Okay, so <clears throat> and that's what we have here. All right, and you can do the same process for iy and for iz. Um, oh, sorry, or for the polar moment of inertia, and you end up with these additional equations for the and these are the parallel axis theorem for i of x, i y, and j naught. Um, so the only thing here, what the um, what the i x bar, i y tilde, and j c are just the moments of inertia uh, for each area about the uh, area centroid. That's what the bar stands for. Right. So just uh, keep these equations in mind when you're doing uh, a few example problems which I'll show in the next uh, couple videos.